It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Denver Broncos and the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's all up next. It's a venue that's had plenty of success come through it since the mid-2010s, as well as a few Lombardi trophies. It's GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. And everybody, thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. To kick off, here's Will Lutz. And we're underway from Kansas City. Starting from the five. And he's gonna make this to the 28 before going down. Well, here come the Chiefs, taking the field for their first drive of the game. Leading them out, someone who Brock, I think, needs less introduction than anyone in the NFL today. It's Patrick Mahomes. All of us as sports fans, we know those players in the other sports that when we just think of the greatest to ever do it, a skill set that's different than everybody else, immediately a player pops in your mind. And while we have seen goats like Tom Brady and Super Bowl winners many times over like Bradshaw, Montana, and Aikman, there's just not many that have ever done it with the flair, the style, and the skill set of Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes got to throw on this first play. That one finds Xavier Worthy. And he's brought down after a nice game and a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Just one play into this drive, and they're already sitting on their own 45. Here's the long back on the handoff. And this goes across midfield and into Broncos territory. A nice six-yard pickup. They're going to have second and four. That's a run that you'll take the result in the NFL every time. A nice play, a solid game, but it's also a run that you know and you may come back to because if you were that close to breaking off an explosive one, you really break the backs of the defense. Putting the tight end in motion. From just shy of midfield on second down. That one complete to Hopkins. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. Now head up, first and 10 from the 42. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And with a nice skate, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Following the run, we see he's still out there dealing with some sort of injury. They'll head out to check on him. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Shotgun handoff to Piran. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Putting a receiver in motion. Throwing on first down, Mahomes. And not a great choice on first down. It's incomplete, nearly intercepted, actually. So second down coming up. 
And that was it. That was their chance to escape this series. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points, and that was their ticket off the field. Unfortunately, they just couldn't quite hang on. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Ooh, that looked like a pick for a second, but it hits the end zone grass. They are very fortunate to get this one back, but now they've got fourth down. Well, that's not the uniform you want to see almost bringing it in. They are so fortunate to have another shot down here after the near pick. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal units and Harrison Butker headed out. This 32 yards out on the right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the opening drive, the game ends in three points. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Butker on now to kick this one away. Here's Trayvon Smith with the return. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. So we'll see the Broncos offense now for the first time. They'll be let out by the final quarterback taken in the first round of this year's draft. A lot of experience from Oregon and Auburn. It's Bo Nix. I know technically, Kate, that Bo Nix is a rookie. But geez, watching him perform over 61 starts, five years of college football. This is a grown-up. This is an adult the Broncos are getting. So much experience, and he's going to be able to handle such a deep playbook for these Broncos. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Opening play, and Bo will throw. Finds Mims. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And third and short in your back pocket can get even more aggressive and take that shot. Mix off the play action. He's going to try to drop it in deep right. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Portland Sutton, the man he was after. So it's going to be third and short coming up. Any DB prefers a highlight real interception and just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. Looking to throw on third and two. Mims with the grab. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. It's a gain of four. And the Broncos will have a first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's a money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Now the first run of the game for Javante Williams. And he's going to be in a lone yard on that drive up the gut. Something he does so well. Nick Bolton making the stop. Only gets a yard there to make it second and nine. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet, but if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. And he let his man just a little too much there. That's an incomplete pass. First time this game they've looked to him. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive down the field. Those windows and throwing lanes, Kate, are not open very long. It only takes a little bit for a throw to be thrown off. On third down, here's Nix. That's incomplete, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Trying to find his tight end. So that brings up fourth and long. So many coaches. 
coaches love third downs and practice them so much, Kate. Why? Because they're the money down in the NFL. Whether it's a close game or already out of hand, coaches know how to execute and convert on these third downs. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Fields this at the 19. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. 58 yards on the punt there. And the Chiefs will get set to go on offense. They're out and set. First and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. Tried connecting with Xavier Worthy there. And it sets up second down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Play action, Mahomes. Oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Riley Moss with the pick. And he takes this one back for the pick six. But we all know getting the interception is the important thing, Brock. But how about this guy having the wherewithal to transition into a really nice return to then get the touchdown out of it, too? Yeah, that's a great point. We talk about it with receivers, right? Getting vertical right away after making uh -huh. a catch. Uh -huh. Same thing for these defenders when they make a pick. They secure the football, sure. But instantly, they go back to their offensive days. They want that touchdown, and they want a moment they won't forget. Will Lutz now on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Broncos take a four-point lead. after that pick six as it's sent away. McCole Hardman now on the return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. The Chiefs offense has to take over. And they didn't have much time to recover from that pick six. Need short memories here as they head back out. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Tight end going in motion here. Mahomes trying to get after the pick. Called in by Worthy. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and create space to take that shot downfield. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Back to throw Mahomes. Running by Juju. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Give him three on that game. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. Lone back gets the handoff. Blast through midfield. And he's down to the 42-yard line. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it'll be first down Kansas City. 
Those outside runs so critical for running back, quarterback, O-line to hit their targets. They got a target area to expose that defense and make the most of it. And that offense just put on display some teaching tape for it. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Now it's Mahomes. Cut by Hunt. And he's taken down at the 30. Pickup of 12 on that play. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first one to do. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. Now movement as somebody goes early. And for the first time today, we're going to hear from our officials. So tough to stay set when you've got defenders doing everything they can to make you jump. And well, they got one of them to move that time. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. Here's Mahomes. It's complete to Hopkins. And he's able to take this one down to the 25. Well, there's a time to be a little finessey with the football, put a little touch on it. And then there's time to put your arm into it and let it eat. Throw it right through your target's chest. This one, well, that one right there was the ladder. Smart to make a fastball zing in before anyone could undercut the curl route. They go play action. It's Mahomes. That's too far in front, and it's not going to be caught. Looking for his wide receiver there. And it's third down now. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Third down. It's Mahomes. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. He was looking DeAndre Hopkins' way there. So they're left with fourth down here. Timing is everything in life, and timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And that cuts the lead back down to a lower point. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good than get into that rhythm and start a game two for two as a kicker. Things trim back down to a single point prop as they send this off and away. Here's Smith on the return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. So the Broncos headed out for their second drive of the game. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. And he'll pull his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. You know, okay, these are some of the little hidden plays in a game. It right? doesn't look like a whole lot on the stat sheet, but A, it gets a good yardage. B, it sets up your play action. And C, most importantly, keeps that defense guessing. Second and six coming up here. Another run for Williams. And that's good for a gain of five. Drew Tranquil brings him to the ground. Give him five yards to bring up a manageable third and one. That run's not going to turn many heads, but at the end of the year, I promise you, if you average over five yards a run, you could be a pro bowler. Third down, one yard to go. Nicks from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. 
Give to Williams from the gun. And two yards is all he's going to get before he's caught. Something he does so well. Nick Bolton making the stop. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. On second down, a run with Williams. And he'll take it past the midfield strike and start to push into Chiefs territory. They've got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. You gain that kind of yardage in the run game, and you're going to gain the trust of your offensive coordinator. Plays like that, runs like that, set the table for everything else in the playbook. All plays on the table here for third and three. They stay on the ground with Williams. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. New set of downs for him from the 46. Going on first down, Knicks. Couldn't bring it in over the middle, incomplete. Gonna have to wait a little longer for his first catch of the game. And now it's second down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. Play action with Mix. Heaves this one for the back of the end zone. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. That throw doesn't lead to six. And things look tougher now with third and long. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Out of the gun. It's Knicks. And he's able to away the pass and force a fourth down. You know, that is so hard to do. It's called body control. Great positioning to swap the ball away. Not go through the receiver. No penalty play. He's got the body control and, more importantly, the timing to knock that ball away. Riley Dixon on the punt. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. The Kansas City offense back out there and set to go. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Here's Mahomes now. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. Looked like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. And it's going to be second down. You know, I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or just had a surprise break in concentration. So unusual to see one dropped unless there's a hit involved. Second down. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. Oh, that vision he has when he gets into space like a chess master. Seeing multiple moves ahead of time. He knows who's going to attack and at what angles, and he maneuvers his way through before someone could finally get to him. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Out of the gun. They'll give it to him inside. Oh, stiff arm. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. Call it seven yards, and now they'll have second down and three. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. They fake the handoff. Now Mahomes. On target to Worthy. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs.
It's the end of the first in this AFC West showdown. We've got a close one here. Back to Arrowhead in just a moment. About set for the second quarter. Chiefs football here. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Mahomes. Able to find Smith Schuster here. It's a game of 17 on that one. And it'll be first down Kansas City. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. Here's first and ten from the 34. To the air, Mahomes. Hits him on the out route. Running in the red zone. They rip off a big chuck of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. So many cool fundamentals on display right there, Kate. Look the ball in your hands, number one. Don't turn your eyes away from it before it gets to you. And then when you've got that catch secured, snap that head forward and find that space up field to turn a good play into a great play. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Back to the air, Mahomes. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. Throwing again, Mahomes. Catch is made in close. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. They've held him out twice. Here we go. Third and goal. They're headed up the middle. And he's in for the touchdown. The Chiefs take a second quarter lead. A lot of pressure on him in that moment, Brock. Find a way to score. Don't let it go to fourth and goal. And he finds a way to come through and gets in the end zone for six. And how about the other side? Beating a defense right there as well. That group who was so close to pulling off the goal line stand, yet all that motivation wasn't enough to stop him on third and goal. Now Harrison Butker for the point after. The point after splits the uprights. And the Chiefs push their lead to six. Smith on the return. And this return gets to the 30 before he stopped. The Broncos offense all set to go. And they're hoping they can keep the punter off the field this time around, Brock, after he's been called upon each of their first two possessions. in the day we had a slip and slide of practice for moments just like that actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way nice gain on the play and denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on it. Williams 
now on first and ten. Still going past the 40. And finally stopped at the 34. The big play nets him 17 yards. And that'll be good for a Denver first. Hey, these are the type of games he's counted on to get when they're available. Unfortunately, we had tremendous vision to see the scene and get through it before that window could close. Going to the ground again on first. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. That's 16 on the pickup. And the Broncos will have a first down. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. On first and ten, here's Nicks. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there when he saw the field. It's going to be second down. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Finds him over the middle. And this one doesn't go far. I remember talking to Jim Harbaugh one time, and Bo Schimbeckler asked him when he was a head coach, do you have a tight end with his hand on the ground? Yes, coach. Do you have a fullback still on your roster? Yes, coach. And you're going to be just fine. Extra man in the secondary now for the Chiefs on third down. Shotgun snap to Nicks. The throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Nine-yard pickup, and it sets him up with first and goal. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. They'll throw again. Nicks. Duck Williams, and it's complete. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Williams. Well, you haven't given up the goal line yet, but this offense is moving closer and closer. Now might be the time defensively to get a little more aggressive, try to stick them with a the loss, and make a difficult fourth down decision. He's in trouble, and the Chiefs bring it down. And the pressure drives them backwards. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. Just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Third shorter attempt and that cuts the lead in half down to three well, that's the type of long sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent the only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point but they do come away with three Set up and it's away. Just a three point game now. His return starts at the five. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Chiefs and this running back headed back out for a new series. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown.
Drive starts out with a first and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Everybody wants to play quarterback until a play like that. Almost no resistance off the ball and the defense ready to maul you. It was all he could do to get rid of it before he gets just clocked. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Out of the gun. It's Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Travis Kelsey. He's going to bring it up to the 40 yard line before he stops. It's a gain of 12 there. And the Chiefs are going to have a first down. And those are the completions they rely on from their passing game. And the slated downs to approach here from the 40. On first down, they'll run. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead... He's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Throwing is Mahomes. Brought in by Juju. And he's brought down for a loss. You'll hear defensive coaches all the time really ask their players to pull the trigger. Read, react, diagnose, and when you see it, go fire away, and that's exactly what the defense does to take away that screen. Let's see what they went with on third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. This one finds Kelsey. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. So third and 16, no problem for them as they get the first. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and come right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. They send the tight end in motion. He's on the move. Big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. Those defenses spend all week trying to find that numbers advantage. How can I get a guy free? Or how do I get my best rusher in a one-on-one -on -one to beat him and get home and get that sack? That was study put into action for the SACK. Offense to the line for second down. They send a man in motion. After the sack, another pass on second down. And that's incomplete, and he's happy to have that one fall compared to, well, the alternative. Looked like it was going to be picked there. Nearly an interception on that play. So they're left facing third and long. Here's Mahomes. Until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains, there wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. They have themselves another first and 10. Motioning the tight end now. Mahomes on first and ten. That's worthy running slant. And they have this down to the 11 before being marked down. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll be first down Kansas City. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Another throw for Mahomes. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm. Get the QB off his spot. It's 
It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another try following the sack. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's brought down after a short game. We're to the two-minute warning from Arrowhead. The Chiefs with the football. Third down, it's Mahomes. Kelsey makes the catch. And he's going to be just inside the 10 before he goes out. I know on the stat sheet, Kate, that shows up as passing yards, but any defensive coordinator will take it. Understanding down and distance and keeping that offense short of the sticks. So on fourth down, the Chiefs field goal unit and Harrison Butker headed out. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Give him the first half trifecta. He's three for three on field goals. And as much as they'd like six points to end drives, not three, they can at least be happy they're getting consistent looks inside field goal range. He's delivering. Butker on now to kick this one away. Marvin Mims now to return it. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. The Broncos about to get going on offense. Javante Williams headed back out now. They managed three on their last drive, but down inside the red zone, disappointing not to come away with a touchdown. They're out and set, first and ten. To throw, here's Nix. Finds a man, Adam Trapman has it. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. Broncos have to hurry here. Clock still running. Defender runs right as the ball goes, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL game before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. Mix again on second and ten. Cut by Sutton. And he stopped. Now we'll wait to hear what this flag is all about. A game they were pretty happy with goes away via the penalty. And now we're going to wait to see how they respond. So now a much tougher task here as they come up on second and twenty. Nicks from the gun. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Clyde getting it to Cortland Sutton. So now it's going to be third and long. That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. They've got a man open to beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. On third down, here's Williams. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. The Chiefs signal for a timeout. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Riley Dixon getting set to punt it once again. Nicole Hardman on the Chiefs' return. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this fly. And he's brought down before the return gets far. 
The Chiefs are out once again. Their offense led by Patrick Mahomes. First and 10 now from the 30. It sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. They motion the tight end over. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. Short pass brought in. And they'll manage to contain him after about a six-yard pickup. Riley Moss with that tackle. a good pickup. They've got second and four. To the air, Mahomes. And this one falls incomplete. Still 17 seconds left to play. Intended target there was Xavier Worthy. And now they need to get four on third down. I know a DB in the stat sheet loves to see INT and not PBU, but as soon as he realized a pick was impossible, he does the next best thing and knocks it away. Back to the air, Mahomes. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. You know, Kate, that was one of those situations where you hear a quarterback have a clock, right? You know, and he ended up time in the pocket, but then it was like, okay, time is running out, and I got to do something. He did not force a throw and risk a pick. Instead, he just got rid of it and cut his losses. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. Good starting field position for the Broncos as they get ready for first and ten. He'll throw it. Connects with his back, Julian McLaughlin. Just a couple of yards here as he heads for the sideline. Kate, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Throwing it just before halftime. He lost it deep left. the Chiefs who've got the advantage heading into the locker rooms. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And with that, we welcome you all into our EA Sports studios. This is the Halftime Report. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to K. Scott and Brock Hewitt. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are Smith on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Denver offense now with the football first to begin quarter number three. Offense 
ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Out of the gun, it's Nix. He's looking deep once again. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Tough one to the team through that hit. And that'll bring up second down. You know, that was almost a nice chunk play before he was able to recover and provide the hit that dislodges the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays deep. Again on second and ten, Nix. That's knocked away by a defender, incomplete. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and you got to react as he begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Shotgun snap to Nix. That's caught for the first. They pick up 20 yards there. And that'll be good for a Denver first. This entire play, Kate, depends on how well he can separate from his man. You get man-to-man -man coverage, it's really about two things. Separation and trust. Because QBs want to throw it before he breaks. That's the trust. And then they got to believe that that separation can create the big play down the field. New set of downs for him from the 46. Second half starts with a run by Williams. He gets forward, and that's about four yards. Jaden Hicks there on the tackle. That is just a good, solid run right there. I know, that's pretty basic commentary, but sometimes football can be basic. It keeps you on schedule. That kind of yards per carry, and you move the sticks. Second and six coming up here. From the gun, a carry by Williams. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Four yards on the pickup, and that's going to leave him with third and three. You know, these are the kind of runs, Kate, that a balanced game plan and a balanced offense is built on. It gets you good yardage, it sets up your play action, and it keeps that defense honest. with Williams and he takes it just inside the 40 down to the 39 he manages a gain of 8 there and the Broncos will have a first down you love a huddle okay, you really do you love a huddle full of guys like this who just know how to keep the drive moving forward there's some trust there and he's going to get the job done and he's going to get another shot I would guess down the line And he's only going to get two or three yards on that one. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second down now, seven to go. Up the gut they go with Williams. Continuing to dig, he's inside the 25. And he has it almost to the red zone, down at the 21-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Our first and ten. Here's Nix. It's taken in by Williams. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Straight ahead with William. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. It's a gain of five, and he's just short. So that's third and less than a yard. A humble five to six yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game changing play by any means. The one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch on that front seven. Now we're on. This is Williams. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That is your old school meat and potatoes call right there. Don't even think about throwing it. Just rush it ahead and get what you need. 
Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. And a couple of teammates combining there for the stop after just one yard. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. Still a chance to get these final four yards. It's second and goal. Williams. And in a rarity today, he stopped at the line of scrimmage. Back to back stands at the goal line. And now it's third and goal. The one defender failed. Well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Buckle up. It's third and goal. Here's Nix. And even on third down, he sees no choice other than to get rid of it. Not the play they wanted. It's going to be fourth down. You know, that's an example right there where you just simply got to be on the same page with each other and get both ends of the play right to execute. They want that one back. Will Lutz get the call on fourth down to put three up here for the Broncos. A very short kick here from the right half. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead in half down to three. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. Set up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Hartman with a return. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Chiefs ready for their next series. Let out on offense by their quarterback. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the gun, it's Mahomes. To the left and reeled in by Hopkins. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Operating from the gun, here's Mahomes. That pass is complete to Kelsey. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. And he only manages one couple of defenders there to bring him down. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He finds Kelsey running the slant. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Well, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Here's Mahomes. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. It was there, he just couldn't corral it. So second down coming up. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, 
then you got to go finish it. you got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. On second and ten now, Mahomes. Throw wheeled in by Hopkins. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. Okay, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. 32, Mahomes to throw. Hauled in by Worthy, right side. And they're going to haul him down a step before the 30, right at the 31. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. You know, I'm really not sure if that was an intentionally brave play to challenge double coverage or just simply not seeing the two defenders. Either way, what a tremendous throw and catch that earns some momentum. They've got first down from the 31. Low back in the backfield, and they give it to him. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. And they get this down the 12-yard line before being stopped. They gain 14 on the play, and the Chiefs are going to have a first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Intended target there was Xavier Worthy. So it'll be second down. I'm not sure if he was hearing footsteps or he just had a surprise break in concentration. It's so unusual at this level to see a drop pass unless there's a hit involved. A second down throw for Mahomes. Fires right away, but incomplete. The tip definitely broke up that throw. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. He needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. Third down, it's Mahomes. Touchdown, Kansas City! The Chiefs push their lead further to start the half. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Butker to try the point after. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Chiefs make it a 10-point ball game. Turn. Here's Mims. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Broncos back out on offense. They're running back, headed out once again. Get this drive started. First 
Tempted. Nips off the play action. Ooh, he got hit as he was throwing, and unsurprisingly, it falls incomplete. Second down coming up. You know, that was a play, Kate, right there, where you need to buy your receivers just enough time to get open along your routes. And your quarterback enough time to find and hit him with the throw. Time? Well, that's not what he had. O-line couldn't hold up. Your force is easy completion. On the handoff, this is Williams. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Well, that doesn't matter first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. All plays on the table here for third and three. Nicks from the gun. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Hey, listen, drops happen in football, even from the best at every level. Nothing more to do but shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be right back your way. Here comes the Broncos punting unit. Ryan and Dixon want to kick it away. And a fair catch made without incident just inside the 25. The home teams and Juju Smith-Schuster headed back out on offense. And unsurprisingly, Brock, a great day on the scoreboard so far for him. Has it with the advantage as we move through this third quarter. Drive starts out with a first and ten. nearly came away with a huge play. Another step, and they sacked the quarterback. But even still, the hit altered the throw and almost set up a takeaway. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. They fake the handoff. Now Mahomes. He goes back to him yet again. Complete. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Move the chains! Gotta move them chains! Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. They're set up at the 35 now. First and 10, it's Mahomes. Finds his man, Gray. And they're gonna bring him down just on the other side of midfield. 16 yards on the play. And it'll be first down, Kansas City. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after. Him. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Again, Mahomes to throw. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Travis Kelsey, the intended target. So that brings up second down. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. This, our last play of the quarter. Another throw for Mahomes. That one falls incomplete and brings us to the end of this third quarter. We'll see what they come up with for third down in just a bit. We've reached the end of three. It's Chiefs football trying to carry this lead across the finish line. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Back to the air, Mahomes. The Broncos get to him here, he's brought down. And the defense comes through, that's gonna back him up and bring up fourth down. 
I'm just looking at this hourglass of saying, Caden, realizing there's not much time left for this team. But the only chance they had was to create a sack right there. Give a little momentum to their offense, who now has no margin for error. You've got to go score. The Chiefs bringing out their fun team. And this will be his second effort of the contest. That's taken at the 15. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And the Broncos get set to take over. Set first and ten. Drive begins with a run. It's Williams. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. Now Knicks. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just throws this one away. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Out of the gun, it's Knicks. Complete beyond the marker. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. New set of downs for him from the 46. Give to Williams from the gun. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Denver first. A split second, all to get the defense from making a stand right there. It's amazing, man. This game of inches and split-second reactions. Nice bit of burst, search forward for enough to get that first by a couple before they could finally drag him down. First down, and they go right back to it. And he'll manage to get this one down to the 27. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Shotgun snap to Knicks. Pass taken in by Sutton. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him nine on that play, and it's enough for the first. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. All set up now for first and ten. From the red zone now. He brings it in. And this is down all the way to the three. That one goes for 15, and now they're going to have first and goal. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. It looks like the defense jumps just before the snap there. The 
Thought he had the timing down and could make the play, but just a hair too early. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Here's Nick's to throw. Has it in close. It's always nice to see teams still in pull for that. I love rewarding the big guy with some touches during the game. They earned those looks. That was a well-run route, and he showed some soft hands to bring it in. The nose of the football inside the one. Here's second and goal. They look to run with Williams. And he runs it across. Touchdown. The Broncos make it a four-point game here in the fourth. Javante Williams, the touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. They can tack on one more now, bring things back to within a field goal. And he connects there, so now another kick from him. A field goal will tie this game in the fourth. Sit up and it's away. Just a three-point game now. Has this at the six. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The home team's headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Pistol now for Mahomes. That's complete to Juju. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Putting the tight end in motion. Mahomes on first and 10. On target to Worthy. And he's going to be blocked out at the 42. This is one of those kind of win-win situations. Both sides feel good. As an offense, I get a completion. I get a win. As a defense, I keep everything in front of me. I make the tackle for a short gain. I get a win, too. Sometimes you can get to win-win. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. From the 42. That one complete to Hopkins. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted, and he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Throwing again, Mahomes. Off the mark there, incomplete pass. Looking for Travis Kelsey that time. And now they face second down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And they'll bring him down after a pretty short game. Give him three that time. That's going to bring up third and seven.
Operating from the gun. Here's Mahomes. Why not go back to it again if it's working? Complete. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. On first and 10, here's Mahomes. for this lead we've got here, but uh, but his name belongs on the marquee as he brings in his second touchdown grab. Yeah, a bunch of contributors all throughout this roster. No, not a Broadway guy. And with two <laughs> scores now, it's what, a two-score game? Yep. Easy to see he's been one of the key actors throughout. Appreciate the honesty. Butker to try the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Chiefs make it a 10-point ball game. Here's Mims. He stopped on the return at the 27th. The Broncos to returning their offense and this running back to the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. start out with a first and ten. Nick's looking to throw. Come deep on by the Bulletins! And no turnover. It's going to stay with the offense. Well, that play went for negative yards anyway, so no need for them to accept that penalty. drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. Third and ten. Can this offense get it done? Nick's from the gun. with Nix. That's cut beyond the marker. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. What a play to beat the defense on fourth down. It's 23 yards and a first. Oh, I love fourth downs. It just brings out the very best. And you get to see how you handle the most pressure. And it turns out they handled it pretty darn well. And now they'll keep pushing Working quickly here. 
On first and ten, here's Nix. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now throw again. Nix finds Mims. And that will not be enough for a first down. It's not just imperative that a quarterback moves man or zone. Same thing for a receiver, especially on a drag rock. When he sees zone coverage like that, just settle down, find the soft spot, and give your quarterback a chance. Offense in the hurry up here. Now Nick's on third down. Escapes the pocket. quarter this quarterback's just feeling the need to do a little extra try to make something happen outside the pocket the problem <laughs> defense wouldn't let them they have that same kind of urgency they want to make some plays of their own before they hit the showers and they got one right there with that sack cut by Sutton and he has it to the 42 before they make the stop and that might do it for him Brock doesn't reach the marker as they turn it over on downs here in the fourth well, I think every analytics book out there, Kate said, you got to go for it. You're in four down territory, down a couple scores here in the fourth. But now it's all about the defense. Can the defense come with a quick turnover or a stop to somehow, some way, spark a comeback? The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And you know this firsthand, partner. You get above that 300 mark, you and your offense are going to have plenty of highlights to choose from by this point in the game. We're getting a look at some of them now. You just got to marvel at how well he's played the quarterback position here. All right, the Chiefs in good field position here as they start out first and ten. and he gets the handoff. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Back-to-back -back carries here. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. A nice gain of 13 yards as it brings up a first down. That takes us to the two-minute warning here in KC. Chiefs holding a 10-point lead. New set of downs for him from the 46. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Another carry for him. And he's short of the first after a mild game. No surprises here. Defense quick to stop that clock. We've got 153 left in this game. Third and four coming up now. From the gun, it's Mahomes. He has the first over the middle. And they bring him down around the 34. The defense takes its third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to take down. 
This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock, but the really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. Out of the gun, they'll give it to him inside. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. Fourth down now. Another kneel would stop the clock and turn it over. Let's see what they do here. Well, no louder place in Missouri or Kansas right now as the Chiefs get the win in Arrowhead. See this in every sport, Rocky. Come in as a big favorite. We'll make a statement, right? Get a convincing victory. And they were able to achieve that one here. Yeah, especially at home. It just means a little bit more when you protect your own turn in any sport, but especially in the NFL, where you get, what, about eight or nine of these, maybe more if you get home playoff games. Playing this way, they set themselves up for future playoff opportunities. So for my partner, Brock Heward, and our entire crew, I'm Kate Scott, saying this has been the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. It's a win for the Chiefs, as we say so long from Kansas City.